What's up, YouTube? It's Anthony from Monarchy Cinnamons and End the World. So I just wanted to touch base about a situation, and it hasn't arrived too many times here over the years, but when the internet world first hit, uh, there was like a wave of people going on their cell phone or going on their computer and saying, oh, I can buy this from eBay for 50 cents and you're charging me $6, or I can buy the EGR valve for $50 online and you're charging me 200 plus labor, etc., etc., etc. I just want to say this. This is not the internet world, okay? The lights all have costs, the mechanics, insurance, healthcare, water, electric, payroll, materials, brake clean, rent, all kinds of stuff go into operating a retail business. The internet world is not a retail business. They sell parts to people around the world below cost in most cases. Now, you can check this out for yourself. Call your local Pep Boys or Advanced Auto or Four Leaf Clover store that sells parts. I don't give a crap who you call. They buy a part from somebody and then they mark it up. Then that customer will walk into that retail store and he will pay a retail price for that car, that part. So if you want internet pricing, then you might want to become your own mechanic and fix your own car. Because most garages like this and I don't care who it is, I deal with a lot of guys. No one sells parts at cost. The cost that you get from online is nowhere near the cost that it is at local parts stores. And it changes in the areas. Uh, and I've checked this, like some of the catalytic converters I purchase from our parts stores that are local, supporting local businesses, uh, are double or triple what it is online. Well, here's the, the plus to that. If I have a problem with that product, I pick up the phone and it's right around the corner. They'll go get me another one. If I order a part online, <laughs> you don't know if it's a blem, a defect, if it's going to work, if it's going to fit. Yeah, we deal with that all the time. So you know how many parts that we order that come from parts houses that don't fit that are aftermarket? A lot. But you have to make them fit. So the moral to the story is, don't go to your auto mechanic or any mechanic shop and cry that you can buy parts online for whatever the substantial difference is. So say it's $50 you can buy it online and he's charging you $200 or $300, whatever. That's his right to make a profit on, the, on that part, plus the labor. He's in business. We're in business to make money. That's how it works. You know, I bought my house at the peak of the market going back 15 years ago. Well, guess what? The market just came back around and it's still not worth that value. I didn't go to the realtor and say, hey, uh, I'm, not, I'm unhappy my house isn't worth what it was. You think they give a shit? No. No one made you make that purchase. You chose to do that. I chose to buy my house in this area and guess what? It hasn't done anything in values. That's my decision. I wouldn't go and cry to somebody and ask for uh, and tell them that I'm unhappy because that's a decision I made. So if you want to buy internet parts, you might want to become a mechanic and buy your own building and fix it because I would bet your regular mechanic wants to make money. And if you let, if you bring him internet parts, there's going to be a time where he says, I don't want to do your do business with you anymore because I have other people that are letting me make profit on parts and labor and, you know, that's how the story goes. Rant over. Thanks, guys.